Hello, today we are going to start working on a new project. It will be a platformer. So let's start by creating new go.project. I will select a place where I'm going to save. I would call this as platformer. Uh, select folder and I'm going to use in this case forward plus. Let's click create an edit. Let's wait for editor to start. Uh, so in today's video, we are going to create our character and uh, define like, some movement. First, we would start with creating uh, the like, node as we usually do it, which will be in world. Let's save. Let's create the new folder, which will be called Sims. And let's save world here. So. As of now, it will be the empty. Next, what we are going to define, that's our character. And for like kind of platform of characters, there is the special type node called character body 2D. So I click here. And as usually, like as we previously did with area, uh, we need to define like add sprite. And we need to add collision. Collision shape 2D. So let's rename this to the player. And next we need to import our uh, asset. So I'm going to create here a new folder. I will call it asset. And I will share the link to the assets which I'm using in the video description. But I'm going to use the Archer assets. So let me drag here the folder. And we have a few, like there is attack, there is the jump, but right now we need only idle. So I would select idle, I would drag it right here. We see that it's six sprites. So here in animation tab, I would say h frames equal to six. So let's save the player, let's save to the same folder, save. And let's define the collision shape. But before we do that, let's change some project settings because it's the pixel art but it's not like crisp enough so let's open uh, config and we need to change few things here uh, so let's decrease uh, let's change the size of our window so i'm going to use like this and we need to change the mo mode to the canvas item Okay. And also we need to change inside of the rendering. There is the default texture filter set to linear. We need to change to the nearest. So and now it looks like real pixel art. So next let's create the collision. I'm going to use here rectangle shape 2D. Let's stretch. Let's move it right here. And I think this should be... Let's move it a bit bottom to cover the legs. I think this should be fine. So now we can add our character to the world. So let's move it somewhere right here. And also we can uh, start the game, select this as main scene. Okay, so, okay. We have the character. Now let's add script which will define our character movement. So I'm going to go to the new character, click plus. Uh, let's create the new folder which will be named scripts. So uh, scripts. Okay. Open. And here. Uh, it is check character body 2D and I can define the like it's empty right now but I can click here and I can create with the template which has predefined basic movement. Let's do it right now, walk through mm, this script but later we will make some changes to it. So once I click create I immediately see the finite script and previously you may see that we use the process function, but for character uh, body, we need to use physics process to 
handle the movement. Here we are reading uh, gravity uh, from the, our settings, so we can go to the settings. And here is the path, so it will be the physics, then 2D, and default gravity, which is right now this value. So it's like we are not going to use this uh, gravity from from this, but now we can start the game, and our player would fall because we have gravity. So let add some platform. So like it will be temporary, and we will use static body. Static body. Uh, cannot be, as you see, it cannot be used by external force. So let's define this static body. It's also need. Let's add some sprite, and let's add a collision shape to D. Okay, so here is our static body. Let's move it somewhere here. Uh, so first, let's do sprite. So here, is, here is the. In every Go.project project, there is the icon SVG. So I'm going to use this as uh, our sprite, and we can change this color like to the black, and we would have some kind of platform. Uh, let's make this size of the sprite smaller, but it should be fine for now because we are going to change this later. But I need to stretch it anyway, so let's do something like this. And we need to define the collision shape, select rectangle shape 2D, and let's just cover whole the whole area. Move a bit top, I think like this should be fine. So now I can start the game. Player is here, I can click left, it's moving left, I can click right. And I can click space, it will jump. Uh, we will later add animation, but right now let's focus on a uh, movement script. So let's see what we have. So first we have um, in the physics process, we have the gravity. So there is the check. If we like not on the floor, we apply uh, gravity. So we, um, you see grab uh, our <clears throat> gravity, which we're using from here, apply to delta. So we like move uh, character character from top to bottom. So if you're not floor. Next, we handle the jump. Jump. So if action pressed UI accept and V on floor, we apply velocity, which we have defined here. So we are decreasing the value value of Y, and which make character jump. And finally, we uh, reading the direction by executing input get axis. It will return us minus one or one. So we are checking if because if nothing is pressed, direction will be equal to the zero. So we are checking if direction is not zero, and then we apply uh, we change the velocity. Uh, also, if nothing is pressed, I uh, function move toward executed uh, to like not stop character movement immediately but give it like gradually decrease velocity to the zeros so uh, most likely it won't be visible in our game uh, like but yeah we can like if you play with the parameter you may see that it will be visible okay but now and finally we have the move and slide so move and slide is very important because if i get rid of this so let me comment this and i can start the game so even if we have the finite like gravity the movement nothing is happening so move and slide is very important without this function uh nothing will be like velocity changes won't be executed Okay, and now let's um, start with some modification for our script. So first, uh, we are not going to use any of those parameters. Let's define few export variable. So first one will be acceleration, which will set to 400 for now. Then next one, we are going to use max uh, speed. Max 
equal to equal to something like 72 then we would define another uh, variable which we call friction and we set this equal to 956 but by the way there is the important uh, let's let's delete this for, for now to not uh, send us any messages so also it's important which should improve the performance of the game to define the type of those variables so i have a few ways to do it so first i can do something like this and by adding this int i define that this variable is type of the int uh, another approach is to use not simply equal sign but add here column uh, in this case go dot would automatically identify what kind of uh, variable it is so because we define it the integers here it will identify those as integers so it's uh, like important to use because it can increase performance of your game so next we are going to define the gravity then another parameter would be jump force okay and final we also define like fall speed make sure i use correct syntax so now we have defined all of our parameters let's uh, start defining some code because if i like run game right now nothing is happening so first we need to apply gravity and i can in theory i can do everything here in this one function but it's better to split those to the smaller functions so first one would be called apply gravity and we are going to pass here delta we already discussed uh, in previous video what delta is doing so uh, apply gravity will be very similar as we have in default implementation so when we just define a project we would check if you on floor is on floor so and if like if not on floor we are uh, changing the velocity y uh, but in this generated code we just uh, like adding or decreasing the value from the velocity but here we are going to call function function is called move toward so let's see what this function is doing it's move from to by amount so it's similar but like you see there is the example so we like here we move till 10 by 4 so it will return like 9 so we're going to use this function to do all of the player movement and it needs few parameters so first it's initial position which in case velocity y uh, so next one is uh, fall speed this is the maximum amount and finally we need to define the delta and delta would be the gravity uh, multiplied by by delta and what we do it like just let's deprint a value of velocity y to see like how the value is changing so let's start game uh okay i forgot to call the function so i need to execute the apply gravity from the main function and i made mistake i need to provide here delta let's rerun game rerun okay character is slowly falling down and it's returned like 80 80 80 so first it's returned like different values but at the end it started to return just fall speed so it's falling down but really slowly so probably we need to play with the value but let's first uh, define our code further and then we would tune the value but let's see one more time yeah it's 
it's super slow. Uh, so now we have the gravity. We need to handle uh, the input. So let's call this move horizontally. Horizontally, which I, if I spell it correctly, I think like this. Uh, and we need to provide here also delta and we want to provide input axis because uh, we are going to read axis uh, in the main function so let's define the axis here uh, it's also similar how it was done uh, in generated code so let's call it input axis and it will be equal to the input uh, get axis get axis and here let's define ui left and ui right so it will return like minus one or one uh, let's just press plus and let's execute this function here move horizontally we need to provide first parameter will be the delta and second one would be the input axis but also i forgot here to add uh, this to correctly um, identify of like variable type so let's define now the code for our function so first what i want to check if input axis we may change this maybe it's more sense to check uh, for axis in top code but let's define it right now here so we're going to do velocity x we will use the same function move move toward move toward and here let's add like initial velocity x uh, next we need to define uh, where do we want to move so i'm thinking to create this as variable because we would need to uh, apply this move horizontally function two times so when uh, we are pressing something like when we are moving but also we want to um, slow, uh, gradually decrease the speed of our character when we stop the moving so we would execute the same uh, code uh, but let's define this right now as two functions and uh we would see if we can uh, make it uh, simpler as one function most likely we can um, in this case so function similar to the speed so let's start again now and let's see if it works it's very slow no it did not uh, because I'm checking if the x is uh, equal to the zero so that means nothing is pressed but we want to check if something is pressed so yeah character is moving very very slowly and you see I'm not like I'm I'm not pressing anything but character still uh, slowly slowly moving nothing is stopping him so what I'm thinking, I'm thinking to, like, I'm not sure if this makes sense to create this a separate function at all, because it just, yeah, probably um, let's not use this as separate functions. Because it's simply one we are calling at this, but um, later we may use this as animation. Okay. So let's then define as of now two functions and later uh, if there will be a, like if they would duplicate each other we would move this to the one. So another one is will be called apply friction and difference here that what we are checking so we are checking if it's equal to the zero so like this so if uh, we not pressing anything we want to move towards zero 
and uh, probably let's remove those conditions from here and let's define them here so if let's get rid of this so what we are checking so if condition is true we move it horizontally and else we applying the friction so i can just copy this and apply friction uh, okay what what's wrong input axis oh, like this now let's try to start the game input axis what input as i added like additional symbol everywhere which shouldn't be there so yeah all right now our character is moving very slowly but we would tune tune this later the next function which we are going to define it will be the jump so let's do jump and jump we don't need to pass anything and it's also would be similar to how we have it in uh, generated the code so we are checking for input is action just pressed and let's use ui we may like later create our own input but let's use ui accept and we need to check if we on floor because if we not like first let's start let's try without this and we will see how it will work what i need to do is to specify velocity y and equal to minus jump force like this and let's define jump here now let's start the game and you see i'm falling down but i can press the space and i can jump so but if i add here condition and is on the floor so it won't allow me to jump until i will be on floor so i'm here right now i'm clicking the space but nothing happened only once i on floor i can jump so we're done with our movement now let's uh, try to tune the parameter so first it's falling very slowly so we need to increase fall speed so maybe try something like 300 here and let's see it's faster but still very slowly so maybe 400 okay let's leave it as it is for now and also player is moving very slowly so we need to change max speed most likely let's change this to the 120 let's start the game it's still a bit slow let's change this to the 250 and let's change acceleration to the 500 okay movement looks nice uh maybe still a bit slow and let's mm, what else should we change jump force i think jump force is fine maybe acceleration to the 600 i may keep those too small okay i think it's moving quite nice jumping probably needs to be a bit faster let's say it falls speed to the 500 okay why it's not changing so where is our applied gravity so we are moving full speed and we need to increase gravity let's define gravity as 400 okay now character moving much faster but and uh, like jump height is also very small so we need to increase jump force like maybe two times now it's jumping and now looks much better so we defined those parameters here but if i will go to the player node you see that all of them are defined here and i can change 
value of any of them through UI. Also, it's very important here for the motion mode to be grounded because without grounded, all these uh, functions like this on floor not uh, going to work. There is also additional parameters, but right now we are not going to change uh, any. Uh, so that's all for today's video. Have a nice day.